Before we begin our program, here is a brief message from iSurgeons Associates, a sponsor of the 2021 Summer Reading Program. See them learn. See them experience things for the first time. See happiness. See an eye doctor before age three. See better, live better with Eye Surgeons Associates. Hi! Welcome to the final episode of Color Your World, Be an Illustrator. This week we are doing art like illustrator and doodler extraordinaire, John Bergerman. An illustrator is the person who creates the images in a picture book. Illustrators can use all kinds of materials to make art, including paint, chalk, markers, watercolors, found objects, and any combination of those items. John Bergerman has always been a doodler, and he has used his artistic skills to, among other things, create fantastic picture books, including Rhyme Crime, How to Eat Pizza, and Splat. He's also the creator of instructional activity books, including John Bergerman's Daily Doodle, and It's Great to Create. This famous doodler is known for making brightly colored and often abstract drawings of characters of every shape and kind. His artwork is known for being vibrant and humorous, and his own personal character, doubly so. Bergerman encourages everyone to explore their creativity through improvisation and play. There's only a couple things you need to make art like John Bergerman. One thing is paper to doodle on. The other thing is something to doodle with, and that could be markers, pens, or colored pencils. The first step to making your own John Bergerman-esque work is getting in the right mindset. Bergerman would advise you to fill your head with new and interesting things. One way to do that is to read some great books. So we started by reading some of his picture books, including Splat, a story in which a character gets splatted with pie, a sandwich, and other funny items just by the reader turning the page. After your head is brimming with creative thoughts, it's time to get your hands ready to draw. Bergerman has said you want to warm up for creating like you would warm up for a sport. So get out the writing utensil you want to use and the paper and just begin to draw. Make squiggles or swirls or whatever you want to. You don't even have to open your eyes. You just want to get the feel for the paper and your marker. The next step is to start drawing. One thing you will notice if you look at Bergerman's work is a lot of eyes and faces. This is important because if you add eyes to something, it instantly has life. Where once you had just a piece of toast, add eyes, and you have a character. So one of the first things you can draw are spies. Two ovals or circles, they can overlap or be apart. Add a dot or circle inside to create a pupil. It's that simple. Then you can add a mouth, which can change your whole character's mood. They could be happy, for instance, if you give them a smile. And honestly, there's a lot you can do with just a pair of eyes and a mouth. Think of all the ways you can shape the eyes or the mouth to create different emotions and facial expressions. The next part is to create a body. And this is another opportunity to invent and improvise. Many of John Bergerman's characters are made using just some squiggles or curly cues to create the body, and you could try that. But the options are truly endless because your character does not have to come from reality. They can come from your imagination or even just let your hand surprise you with a shape. Perhaps your character is happy, puffy, and pink. Or maybe blue and sad. Or perhaps your character is spiky, red, and angry. You could also draw a monster of your own making or perhaps create an alien from a distant planet. You really can't go wrong creating your character. They can be as unique or unusual as you want. If you want to make something more down to earth, you could, of course, add eyes to anything. Maybe you want to make a character out of a heart, mug, game controller, flower, or sheep. You just need an idea to create your own unique doodle or work of art. You can even put two real things together to create something unreal, like this ice cream cone cat with a cherry on top. John Bergman believes that art shouldn't be created just for other people to enjoy. You should create it for yourself. Enjoy the process of making art. Art should be fun. So be like John Bergerman and enjoy creating, no matter what it may be that you end up making. As John Bergerman has said, the main thing is that you make. 
If you are interested in reading John Bergerman's picture books, you can check them out at the Bettendorf Public Library. The library is also home to thousands of picture books in which you can explore illustrations and the illustrators who made them. We hope you enjoy making your own John Bergerman art. This is the final Color Your World Be an Illustrator program, but we have many fun programs coming up this fall. Check out our online calendar for all the upcoming events. Until then, bye!